marketing is the work to influence choice. We often don't realize that. We try to mandate it. We, we claim people should do this. We tell them to do that. We treat them like sheep. But great marketers quietly foster conclusions. Yeah, is that why you talk? So we're talking about the first uh, Fast Class episode. Is that why you talk? There's these two words you used. I thought they were beautiful. Because we hear a lot about customer centricity, right? Like put the customer in the middle and I guess they're a target and you shoot at them a bunch or whatever it is. But you mentioned these two words, customer supremacy. I really like that. What did you mean by customer supremacy? Well, I think that a customer, despite all the rhetoric, and every marketer should be sensitive to rhetoric because we're drowning in it. Businesses are always saying the right things, but the right things don't align with who they are. And that well, let's help will, people understand first too, like what what is the classic root of rhetoric? Where where does that come from? I know I've heard you and Austin talk about this before. I well, don't think most people understand this. Yeah, the, the greatest works in marketing were not written in the last hundred years. I mean, a hundred years ago, Daniel, I think Daniel Starch, and I can you know. Then there's the f names we all know, like Ogilvy, and prior to him. Uh, Claude Hopkins. I'm not as big a Hopkins fan now as I used to be once I really got into his work, but I can tell you that uh, great works were written a thousand years before that. In fact, even longer. Aristotle's work on rhetoric broke all sorts of story down into a classic three-act formulation. By the way, marketing is a story with three acts, and Aristotle was relevant then, and he's relevant now. And he's not the only one. But the great works have survived the test of time. And if we get deeply into them, we can get deeply into ourselves. And once we get deeply into ourselves, we can discover the path uh, to high performance. It starts and moves through us.